The Braille skateboarding team is traveling to Cincinnati, Ohio to participate in Fluke Talk 2023. On this week-long adventure, we have to build a 10-foot skateboard, perform in front of 40,000 people, and send Nigel Jones off a 30-foot platform into the Ohio River. Will we survive Cincinnati? Stay tuned. I think I'm most excited to get out there and be with the community. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy I enjoy uh, seeing our work that we do on the YouTubes be translated into uh, joy from people seeing us in the public eye. And I'm also excited to face dive off the the, the dock into the bay of wherever we're going in Ohio. Uzi doesn't see us. Uzi's being Uzi. I'm excited about the food. Is that crazy? <laughs> That's fried. Honestly, what I'm most excited about is going to Rob Deer to Escape Park. I'm about to drink two monsters and send it. You heard it here first. I knew what Fluke Tug was. I didn't know what the name was. I just knew people pushed each other and pushed carts off a dock in the water. Um, did I ever think I'd be a part of it? Yeah. Because anything's possible. Right? No, I, no, not not even a little bit. It's cool. How do you feel about flying? That was my mode today. I did not care. Normally, I feel like I'm gonna die, but I took a bunch of anxiety medicine. And then I didn't care. I was just like, man, this guy sucks at flying. That's too bad. Shout out our captains. They got us here nice and smooth. They said, you know what? The Brill team's on the plane. We're going to get them here nice and smooth. <laughs> I'm joking. We love you. Let's get this. Cincinnati has never been a spot that has been like, oh, I need to go check it out. I need to go to Ohio. Who, who says that? I need to go to Ohio. Nobody. It's going to be interesting. We're in Cincinnati, Ohio. We're actually in Kentucky, northern Kentucky at the airport. Who's going to drive? <laughs> You're never driving. What? Bro, come on. I'm I do not driver. trust you at all in the slightest bit. How many how many car Bro, you get lost with the here. GPS on. We're at the one and only Rob Deerdeck skate park. And if you guys ever, ever watch Street Dreams, and if you haven't, this is the original skate park, and this thing looks like it's been here for 77 years. <laughs> this is some kind of archaeological discovery, brother. I'm about to do my biggest ollie down a stair set. Alright, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that will be my record. And this one's pretty long. I'm kinda scared. Shout out to like everyone who skated this stuff. You guys are crazy. Right. So I'm about to send it. Oh hell no. Nice. 
All right, what y'all think of the park? I left my soul there. <laughs> Let's go! Right you made it! Welcome to Ohio! Welcome to Ohio! Rick, get in the car! We need to go, bro! Get in the car! Oh, I went from LAX, I went on the plane, that flight was delayed, then the next flight basically got delayed, 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 then cancelled, then I had to get a hotel, then I came back, finally made it, touched the nice bus to the hotel, then I looked at my bag, some people stole stuff out of my bag, Ah! And then I tried to catch the bus to the skate park and now we here we are. <laughs> Rippers got you, Rick. Really. I know. <laughs> you think the baggage people is safe? Come on. Finally. <laughs> Finally. I hate when it doesn't have it. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> I wouldn't like. I wouldn't swim in it. You wouldn't. I, in our river, right outside the Ohio, like the Ohio River outside of Cincinnati, I would yeah. not go in with my body. But he will. What are the risks involved? This is not a clean area of the river. Yep. <laughs> would you get in the river? Oh no, no, I wouldn't. Do that. There it is. We're doing this. <laughs> oh man. This is about to be insane. Insane. It's nice knowing you, brother. Hey. The world's largest skate wheels. Yeah. Looks very nice. Yep, just wheel it out. just cardboard with plywood inserts. Basically, that's it. It's super strong, but it's single use. Can you walk us through what we need to do to get I brought you a, a film prop so that you guys can kind of talk about it. Epic, dirty, cracked wheels, but I'm sure it'll find a good home here. So you could pull those off to paint. Uh, or you could just cover them with plastic. I'll leave that up to you. Just think if we were gonna push this up the braille drop, right? Do you think it would go straight sh down? Or would it go like straight down? Mm -hmm. I think if you guys push it hard enough, it's, it's, it's gonna nose dive. Yeah. 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 It's and gonna be unless, down, it'll come up a little honestly, bit. Honestly, unless when he gets at the tip, we could somehow lift backwards. That would it's be gonna lit. be heavier in the back. Yeah, that would be this. lit if we push and then go boom. Yeah. Reporting live. I'm here with Sir Andy Schrock. Sir. Yes. Do you know what a fluke tog is? It's a German treat. I love fluke tog and uh, y'all aren't ready for it. What do you think about the Ohio River? It is gross. I've heard that there are six feet catfish in it and I've heard that it's the second grossest body of water in the country. You, you heard it here first. Thank you. No problem. We're in downtown Cincinnati. We got one question. What is a fluke tog? Also, is the, is the water quality even good out here? Are you from Cincinnati? Yes. What is a fluke tog? No idea. Did you know that there's a Red Bull fluke tog event going on this weekend? I do not. How's the water quality out here? It's all right. Would you go in the, the river right there? We have. <laughs> yeah. Like a month ago. Just don't swim with your mouth open. Yeah. OK. Well, that's all I got for you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, what's a fluke tog? Is that the thing that you play? Do you know what fluke tog is? Fluke tog? I do not. Wait, oh, is it the Red Bull thing? Yeah. This weekend? Yep. I've heard of it, but never been to okay. it. Okay. How is the water quality? Like, would you go swimming in the river? Around this area? No. A boat close to a dam? Yes. But overall, no. I cannot sing, nor am I a queen. I can't be here. Hey, yeah, can I ask you a, a couple questions? Yeah, I watch you guys all the time. Oh, no way! Yeah, Sick. Awesome. This is perfect. Do you know what a fluke tog is? No. It's a Red Bull event that's going on this weekend. Says here, it. here in Cincy? Yeah. Water quality. Would you say it is good water quality or bad water quality? Out of the Ohio River? Yep. No, I ain't drinking out of that. Would you swim in it? No. No. Not even a no. little bit? No. Nobody's swimming in it. <laughs> hey, uh, do you know what a fluke tog is? 
She didn't even know. She didn't even know. Ex excuse me, have you heard of Fluv Talk? Would you say that the water quality is good or bad? Thank you. Do you know what a fluke tog is? No. no. Have you ever heard of it? No. Would you go swim in the water if somebody paid you to go swim in the I water? I told her I told her not to touch it. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a no too. Do you know what a fluke tog is? A fluke. Fluke tog. It's an event this Saturday. It's one over here. Oh, okay, no. Would you ever swim in that river? Maybe. The that is the that is first, first one. maybe of the day. Am I concerned? Kind of. Will I be all right? Probably. Hey, excuse me, sir. What exactly is a fluke top? Would you ever go swimming in the Ohio River? Well, that was my report reporting live from Cincinnati. I am Nigel Jones. This is Braille Skateboarding. Turns out there's something in the water and it's gonna be me soon. Thank you, Red Bull, for having us out. You guys have a fantastic time. There it is. The color coordination in this particular warehouse is very nice. And it is a nice, it's got the braille blue and the revive red. Yeah. All coming together. Let's go team bra. I this think. paint job that Rick did, beautiful. Hey, buddy. We forgot to say hi to our friend. How did I even get him stuck up there like that? I know this is a U-Haul, oh but I wish they don't. called it a Wee haul because I like you. Hate you. Fishing here, bros. What's up, everybody? We're underneath a bridge right now in Cincinnati. It's going crazy tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be a crazy day. I had to make sure it was tomorrow. We're going off of that ramp into that water. It's gonna be disgusting. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited as I am. Uzi Walker, I love you. Here we go. Uh, brain eating amoeba. If that team wins, you think they'll have an inflated ego? Get out. Get out of here. We made it. Royalty. Oh, that's, that's the mayor? He's coming with us. What the? <laughs> Damn, you've been working out? <laughs> what are you doing here? What kind of wings are these? <laughs> hey, the real mayor of Cincinnati just pulled up. I thought we had real wings on the side. Yeah, I, th I thought so too. We had a long debate. I wish you were here. We needed you in this act. What in the world? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> what the hell? Yo, you made it! So you're gonna be here tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Wait, does that mean you're jumping out? No, you got this. <laughs> that is all you. Okay. You're yeah. 100%. <laughs> That's probably gonna rip off. <laughs> That's, <a second. laughs> That's probably gonna rip off. You gotta ollie this. I Just wanted down. to do that, but that would require me to stay above it. And then once it hits the water, I don't want to land on that, that centerpiece or the, um, the axles is metal. So he said... This is how far you go. No, the crap. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, I thought it was you. Well, you can also get win fan favorites. So that's why I'm like going to... So what I'm going to try and do is front 180, or front flip 180 into a back flip. So like casserole. It's pretty gnarly. And this is the second dirtiest body of water in the entire country. I, of course you looked that up. We all did. <laughs> <laughs>
Me too. You ready for some, some good flying yeah, tomorrow? Yeah, we're ready. I ain't gonna lie, I will feed the crafts. You might not go as far, but you might set a record for the one that goes the deepest. You think so? <laughs> yeah. You might. Yeah. I, I've been to a few food togs before, yeah. so I, I think I might know a little something. So what we thought was going to happen is that he's going to be on wings on his back. Yeah. Oh, and then you're going to go, okay. Because I get to get tossed in there. Okay, so you're the pilot. Yeah. I see you. I see you. About to go crazy tomorrow in the flu tug event. We got my boy Chad Ocho Cinco to my right. We got Ricky Glaza to my left. I'm just surrounded by legends right now. It's crazy. I hope you're having a good time enjoying this, watching this, vibing. We going crazy out here. 2023 Cincinnati. We here. be back at the shred quarters because I have so many fond incredible amazing memories I mean to say that Andy Schrock and Brian Ames and Revive Skateboards changed my life is an understatement so I love coming here and it's just like a breath of fresh air to just see the absolute creativity that goes into this place and that Andy and Brian bring to everything they do so that's always so inspiring for me here fluke tug cincinnati let's go he literally said everyone just get out of here as fast as you can like yeah, he said evacuate yeah he did seek say shelter he, who? he said lock down your craft and seek shelter that guy yes. with the red hat yes thunderstorm will impact portions of franklin northeastern ripley northeastern dearborn everywhere we go gabe remember when we went to texas yep and it was just like because we bring the lightning we're gonna be fine right Why'd you guys have to come here? Sam loves us. I love you. <laughs> I love you. One of your judges today. My name's Nick. Hello, Nick. I'm uh, I'm I'm from uh, from here. This is personally my favorite float of the day. Yes. You guys are gonna. My scores only go to ten. You're gonna get an eleven. My scores only go to ten. You're gonna get an eleven. I myself am a skateboarder. Yeah. I'm, a ski, I'm a skier by trade, but I love this. I love the theme. Skateboarding is definitely not allowed, especially here, so <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant. Killing. Dude, that's amazing. Are, do you plan on 50 50 ing anything? I love Tony Hawk and do a 900. Oh, hell yeah. So like, is there like a manual that you can like manual off that's or something? I want to stay above it, but I also want to get yeah. away from it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That it's, thing looks pretty stout. Is yes. it made out of wood? Or it's foam, like mainly. It's foam? Like, uh, this is foam. How are you feeling, Jones? I'm feeling absolutely incredible. I'm just ready to go. I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is it's going to be a good time. I'm so excited. Red Bull, shout out. You're awesome. 2023, Fluke Talk. We out here. I might get in trouble. 
because I don't know if I could do spins, but I'm doing it. My dog, the mayor of Cincinnati. Uh, <laughs> he is my best friend. You, we got the key to the city in less than 12 hours. I'm so stoked! Let's go! I'm gonna die! Today's the last day on Earth. You guys, I hope you enjoy it. Let's go get it. I love you, bro. Be safe. Good luck. Good luck, brother. I forgot to mention, I can't swim. of public safety and respect. Okay, Cincinnati and Red Bull worked really hard to put this thing together, and this is just, just vandalism. No skateboarding. My scores only go to 10, you're gonna get an 11. 11. This is just vandalism. No skateboarding. Well, I'm gonna go to somebody else. Hell, you're no stranger to riding your motorcycle down the middle of the Kentucky streets doing a wheelie. What, what did you like about that? Dude, I think that was the best one yet. I don't know. What do you think, crowd? Yeah. We got him. <laughs> Bro, you flew. Come on, you baby. Flew, baby. Ah. Let's go. That was fun. I want to do it again. I, I want to do it again so that was bad. Air time. It was good. Dude, you went so far. Did I? Yes. Alright, yeah, yeah, we're, we're down, down here at the pilot takeout with Nigel and Braille skateboarding. That was clearly a big favorite. The crowd was absolutely loving that. How was that experience right there? Oh, it was unreal. I wish I could do it again, to be honest with you. That was so fun. Thank you, Cincinnati. You guys are amazing. amazing. Woo! Alright, and, and we got, we got some great news for you guys. You guys, you guys, you guys officially went 39. Woo! You smoked that ollie, but you played it off so good. <laughs> that ground was so soggy, oh my and God. I went to pop, and it literally just like sunk in. And it, I was like, oh, It man. looked intentional though, yeah. so it's good. So fun, I'm not even gonna lie. I wanna go do it again. Like, if you don't wanna jump, I'll go for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. Did wow, you feel me? Dude, them dragging you out from under the board was so funny. Oh my God, holy sh <laughs> I didn't look at it at all, and I looked at it, and I was like, man, I'm scared to jump off with a life vest. Yeah, how, how is like, it? I do not like that. There, I mean, you don't have much time to think about it, because the guy's like, go. Yeah, I was but like, bro. When I was up there, I was like, this is a big drop. Yeah. Did everyone love you guys? Apparently, you guys are the crowd favorite. Yeah.
My, my palms are sweaty, my knees weak, my arms are heavy. All right, let's go skate now. So you, we lost at Fluke Dog. Wow, you don't gotta be that harsh when you but, say that, bro. How do you think we did? How? All right, see, since you just threw it out there like we lost, we didn't lose too much. We did lose Fluke Tag, but I am not discouraged at all. I actually really like the spirit of Fluke Tag that they build these big extravagant crafts. They put all this showmanship in only to crash. So I really like the spirit of the competition. I don't think winning was all that important. Overall, we won. I think we were the crowd favorite. We got loud cheers. We got a judge hating on us completely with a big bowl of hate. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I watched this man's clips randomly on social media not knowing it was him. And then he has the audacity not only to walk up and tell us before we went, we had the best craft. He was gonna give us an 11. You gonna get an 11? Just straight off appearance, cause he loves skateboarding. And then had the audacity after the fact to say that we had the best run of the day, but still gave us a one. I don't know if you're trying to play off of our joke that we had with the security with the no skateboarding, but I mean, come on. I think we won overall. I think we won. I don't care what they say. We won anyways. We didn't barely even have wings and we almost had the longest jump, so that's that's that on that. We won! We won in our hearts! The skit was perfectly executed. The launch was perfectly executed. The craft was perfectly executed. However, if we do it again next year in Florida, we have some ideas and we can for sure, for sure top what we did. And we will. And we will win. Even though we one in our hearts. Did you mess up that ollie on purpose or on accident? Come on, be honest with us, Jones. Do you know how good of an actor I am? 
I'm just that that was that was an Oscar that should have just been handed to me immediately because I absolutely fried that Ollie. It was so soggy up there. As soon as I went to pop, if you watch it in slow motion, my back right wheel sunk, sinks into the wood and just turned. It was done for after that. But you know how good I am? Immediately as that started to happen, phase number two came out. Did I even have phase number two prepared? Nope. But your boy's ready for anything and everything at all times. How good did it look? It did, it did look good. Honestly, I think the fall made it better. Right? Yeah, for sure. It was planned. I'm meant to do it. I didn't think I was, I didn't think I jumped as high as I did, but then I saw like the, the video and the side picture, but I also was very reserved on that jump because it was my first time being on top of the skateboard. And I literally, the guy was like, oh, you can't put too much pressure here, here, and here. You know, it might collapse on this side, this side, this side. There's only so many places that you can stand. So when I did the, the initial jump, it was like, I was thinking, all right, don't push too hard because if my feet sink into this skateboard, I'm gonna have a bad time. I wish I would have. I wish I would have trusted myself a little bit more and like jumped a little bit harder. But I remember everything. I remember the initial jump off, dropping my shoulder on accident because I'm an idiot, slowly turning and going, "This is gonna be great," and then ending up backwards in the water. I had a smile on my face the whole time though, so that was cool. I think Nigel messing up the ollie and playing it off gave Sam Tabor the opportunity to come up, grab the board. And, uh, and run away with it and go forward with the skit. So I think that was an accident that actually made it look intentional. I think it went perfectly. I think it was just long enough. I think us dragging him out from underneath the skateboard was really good. And the way we lifted him on top, just everything about it was just, it was like a dream. Nigel lifting his hands up like this when he was going off the edge, just, you can't, you can't script something like that. We got the key to the city in less than 10 hours of being there. <laughs> How? <laughs> like, I'm never nervous about Nigel's safety. Nigel's like a cat, and he can get himself out of most life-threatening situations. The only thing I was concerned about is launching off. If he mistimed the jump or something like that, or just kind of went down with it, landing on top of the craft, I'm not sure how that would have gone. But, you know, it's, I wasn't nervous. I was just, you know, it's my guy right here. You know. We got the final number at 40,000 people that were there watching. Were you nervous in front of that many people? Nah, because I wasn't doing nothing talking. I was just chilling in the back. So I would probably be nervous if I was not Nigel because Nigel had the front runner and he had to talk and he had to make sure he said the right things. I was just behind him, guiding him right there, pushing him, you know what I mean? Nah, that was sick. There was a lot of people thought that was cool. And we went at the beginning, so like most of the people were still there. I think that was sick, because if we would have went at the end, there would have been like half the people gone. We went at the beginning, it was nice. I wasn't really nervous in front of that many people, but I was really surprised how many folks did come out. It was so awesome to just look out there, see everyone in the crowd, everyone on the bridge, everyone on the boats. It was really quite a sight. I honestly did not realize there were people there in that moment. Nothing, it was just literally me, the boys, the board, and the water. My main thought was, I hope it's not cold. <laughs> I am okay in front of people and crowds and whatnot. I have no issues with that. It was no problem. I could get up there and talk all day. Um, I definitely had like 50 different game plans I wanted to do after the fact. Like, I, like yeah, we'll get into all the, the, what I wish I could have done later on. Final thoughts on Cincinnati and Ohio. It was definitely a blast. So I can't wait to come back Please get bro back in Cincinnati, Ohio, because Ohio is definitely lit. There are some people commenting to me, messaging me saying, man, I ain't never seen Ohio look so fun while you guys are out there. I was like, whoa, what are y'all trying to say? But I love Ohio, Ohio loves us. And hopefully next time we don't go in the Ohio River. What are my thoughts on Cincinnati? I love it. I dare I say I love it much more than San Francisco, but I think it was a really cool city and I, I did kind of enjoy connecting with the mayor too. Can't say I've ever connected with a mayor of a city before, so I really like that and I love Cincinnati overall. Cincinnati, you know what? Lil B's got songs, Ohio, down. There's all the memes like, oh look, Ohio, the worst place ever. Ohio was sick, honestly, it definitely one of the my favorite cities and city uh, Cincinnati is one of the favorite cities I've been to because it was really clean 
and there was lots of Lime scooters, and there was lots of people that was like medium age, like younger type people, and yeah, it was like a, a nice city. Normally I'm used to going to cities and it's like The Walking Dead or something, but Ohio was sick. Honestly, beautiful city. Uh, I love the greenery everywhere. Water could use some work, but I have some of my closest friends there and Revive, my family. Um, I've been there three times now, and every single time I've been there, all I can recall is having a good time. So thank you for so graciously hosting us, Cincinnati, and uh, I'll probably be back. I don't know about those guys, but I'll, I'll probably be back. Cincinnati was cool. That's all I got. We're about to change the